Because next Monday marks a very special day for the State of Israel as it uh, marks its Independence Day amid some of the toughest times in recent years. Thousands are presently protesting outside tonight's Eurovision venue. In Sweden and in international politics, there are also tensions, as this week saw US President Joe Biden threaten to withdraw weapons supplies to Israel if they undertake a unilateral invasion of the city of Rafah. Right, let's go live to Tel Aviv and speak to performer and mystifier Uri Geller for the latest on the ground in Israel. Uri, thank you very much for joining me. Hi, Nana. Um, if, if you will allow me, I'll start um, my conversation about the Eurovision. Because look, Nana, you know, I love talking about aliens. Well, in Eurovision tonight, it looks like they have just landed. Look, I don't mind what anyone looks like. I don't. But the Irish singer, mm. she said, she, listen, they cried when they heard Israel had got into the final. So whatever planet Bambi Thug comes from, well, they can go straight back there. Actually, we are all very excited here in Israel about Eurovision because, you know, Nana, this is no ordinary Eurovision. This is a battleground. As you know, the same people who march in London every weekend calling for Israel's destruction tried to get Israel kicked out of the competition. Now, our singer, she's called Eden Golan. She's 20 years old and it is shocking. She cannot even leave her room. She cannot leave her hotel room in case she gets attacked. And it is true. All because she's Israeli and she's Jewish. So tonight, we are holding our breath. If Eden wins, it will show all the haters that ordinary peace-loving people reject all of that. And they stand with Israel. And do you know what else? There are 100 Swedish policemen they are taking her to the hall with guns. They're escorting Eden Golan with guns to the hall. Look, Nana, as you know, I have special powers and I'm going to bombard my TV with all the energy, all the energy that I have to will Eden to win. And I want, I'm asking, I'm begging your viewers to do it too. Israel got to win. Now, look, I'm going to show you something else. Look, Nana, the fact that the protesters who are against Eden Golan also want Israel to lose the war. And this week, something unbelievable happened. You just mentioned it. The same people who hate Britain as much as they hate Israel got a gift. A gift from none other than the President of the United States, Joe Biden. For the first time ever, a U.S. president threatened to stop supporting Israel military in the middle of a war. Now, look. Yes, Joe Biden said, if Israel goes to Rafah, where all the hostages are, including British hostages, they're held there, he will not give Israel the weapons it needs to do it. Now, none of this is absolutely shocking. America, I mean, under this president has betrayed us. It betrayed Israel. The hostages need to be released, and Biden should be ashamed. Now, finally, um, look at this. Mm -hmm. Nana, I'm, I'm actually quite jealous because you were treated to a spectacular light show across Britain last night. I'm holding a photo of my Lamb Island in Scotland. If you remember, I, I bought an island 18 years ago. The pictures of the northern lights in the U UK are amazing. It looks like something from outer space. So that's my Lamb Island. And Nana, as I always end the show with you, I send you and all your amazing viewers, lots of love, positive energy, and let's see what happens tonight. I love you all. Mwah. Uh, Ori, thank you so much. We hope that Israel, I hope Israel will win. I don't normally vote, but I think I'm going to do it tonight. And of course, thank you for Uri. Uri Geller, his thoughts on what's happening in Israel. Really good to talk to you. Brilliant, Uri Geller.